So uh, I must apologize because I, I have a sore throat. I hope I, I will last till the end of my talk. If not, I have some water, and I hope there are some doctors in the room. So I can help with this. <laughs> So uh, before starting uh, with my agenda, I wanted to uh, not to reintroduce the Matrix project, which Jay already did. It was just to, to mention that to uh, maintain and manage a, a platform uh, uh, or with translation and that, we need at least three entities that have to work together on it. There's data to be curated and uploaded, but there's a, there's a tool in this case uh, Transmark and uh, all the all the tools for the Etrix labs that Jerry already described that have to be de to be developed and there's an infrastructure that has to be designed and developed and uh, uh, managed for uh, project hosting and uh, the public server hosting. So I I will focus on uh, on my on the platform description on the infrastructure and. Uh, the different project modules and the key services. And I will then go into detail on the public server instance, describing how we, <coughs> we treated Transmart, and, uh, and then we'll go for a couple of, of slides on the first prospective studies uh, that can be summarized as issues labs. Finally, there will be some uh, talk about the future of the platform for, for the end of the project. So the uh, Etrix platform is a cloud-based uh, platform. I put some details uh, on uh, on the right-hand side, uh, but uh, the message I wanted to uh, share was that uh, it was chosen cloud-based cloud because it allows quick provisioning, uh, horizontal scalability, and uh, efficiency in the usage of resources. Furthermore, the horizontal scalability allowed us to provide a high level of modularity, which makes easy uh, service administration and uh, deployment and resource allocation. And at the same time, it provides uh, some uh, degree of service customization and the security through containment of the different instances and accountability of the actions made on said instances. So let's. Uh, Let's see how uh, an instance, uh, a project instance, is uh, is made of. As I said before, there are, there are three partners uh, to uh, to work on a, on a platform. There's uh, there's data, and uh, do you still hear me here? Or okay, so there's data, and uh, we have uh, user raw data uh, volume and the database server. There's the application that sits on top of everything, in this case, we have Transmar. And behind everything, there is a plethora of virtual machines that uh, are, are not uh, immediate. Uh, you, you can't see them uh, uh, immediately, but are there to make uh, the work uh, easier for, for the users and the developers that work inside. Since uh, uh, the projects that were hosted in the Etrix platform uh, wanted uh, uh, to work on their private data, uh, this uh, instance uh, was duplicated. Since we had uh, good efficiency and modularity, it was duplicated for, for the different projects. And the Etrix platform now hosts uh, up to four, uh, ist four different instances that are completely separate from each other the public server, and uh, three uh, project instances, Abirisk, Bioaster, and uh, Oncojo. Uh, on, uh, on each instance, uh, there are multiple levels of monitoring with different uh, access rights uh, at the level of infrastructure and services uh, uh, rights to uh, access the, uh, the charts uh, and receive notifications uh, if uh, a machine malfunctions is uh, left uh, to the sysadmins uh, in, uh, in the computing center and beyond. For all end user activities, uh, uh, monitoring is extended to all project managers. So also project managers can have uh, a, an idea, can have a, a feel of the uh, uh, activity on, uh, on their instance. On top, in front, uh, or all around, it depends uh, how, you, how you like to see uh, the attacks coming. 
there's a security model. His objective uh, is to uh, provide user and platform authenticity, authenticity, data confidentiality, and data integrity. It is uh, made of four uh, mechanisms, the user management, the authentication mechanism, authorization mechanism, and logging, logging mechanism. <coughs> Sorry. Um, just to make it clear about authenticity and uh, authorization, authenticity is uh, who we are and uh, authorization is uh, what we can do. The authenticity for the platform is uh, held by a HTTPS certificate on uh, all the web application, on all the um, GUI for, for Transmart and uh, on the uh, um, user, user management tool that is uh, uh, another web application. The authenticity for users uh, is uh, given by their login and password, uh, which is stored in, a, in an LDAP. And the registration and access rights uh, are validated by their ZARs. ZAR is a, is a role that is uh, very in use uh, in, the, in the computing center. It means uh, the, uh, it, uh, it indicates uh, the um, project manager or account manager of a project. So uh, it means that there are two physical people that will uh, uh, give right or deny rights to, uh, to a user requesting to integrate a project. So there's not only a mechanical and uh, automatic way to, uh, to register, but we have a, a physical validation of the, of the user. Um, the authorization service server uh, will uh, will store all the policy uh, access rules uh, that uh, are are managed by by the project. So, so as a platform, we uh, were able to uh, deliver uh, platforms, uh, computing platforms for for the public server and the hosted projects. Uh, they are uh, completely separated uh, instances. There is a, um, quite a degree of customization of the production models, security, data flow, and access requirements, which may differ from uh, project to project. And uh, uh, it was also possible to deploy uh, multiple instances for, for the same project to test uh, uh, ETL work, new ETL workflows or uh, uh, new applications or new release of old applications. Uh, in, in the first talk uh, of the first day of this meeting, Case uh, uh, ended uh, uh, talking about Transmart, saying uh, that he wanted it to be more secure, more scalable, modular, and documented. I think that as a platform, uh, we have at least the security and modularity already there, and uh, we can work on, uh, on documentation and uh, scalability with uh, the transport <laughs> itself. Furthermore, <clears throat> along with, uh, with the instances and the uh, support on the project, uh, we gave uh, a lot of support to, uh, to the trainings as end users and the creation, deploying uh, um, um, a num uh, the required number of a number of uh, instances for uh, for the attendees uh, of the trainings, so that we could not fall in uh, any uh, connection problems on uh, on the platform. This was also possible because uh, we uh, for for the modularity of the of the platform and the uh, how how the platform was built. Along as this uh, um, infrastructure services, there are other key services to the uh, the user to the, to the project user that I will talk in the, in the next slide. Starting with the with the service portal, which aggregates uh, all the uh, uh, operational information for uh, for the project. There's a section for uh, to access uh, the Transmart public server. And uh, also have an idea of which type of data is uh, um, is stored in uh, in this instance. There's a section for for users to uh, to access the Transmart instance, 
and access the user management uh, tools to uh, to give users rights uh, and uh, allow users inside the project. And a section where we where we can download the the tools that have been created inside the platform. Um, another um, environment that is common to any uh, instance deployed is the data creation environment. And this was done in collaboration with people from the University of Luxembourg. It is a dedicated uh, uh, VM for creation. It has all the uh, ETL tool and has a direct access to the instance transmark database. Again, as, a, as I started, there are three uh, members in, uh, in a platform. First, the porter for, for the infrastructure, then the uh, ETL environment for data creation and upload, and finally, the, uh, the analysis tool, Transmart, for Transmart, and for uh, to deploy uh, its releases uh, as the key, we applied uh, a release process in which the uh, the var file that we received from the uh, from the foundation was uh, uh, was tested for uh, for platform compliance and uh, uh, was integrated in the deployment uh, automation. It was then. Uh, Set uh, in uh, in an instant uh, in an instance of pre-production, where it was loaded with initial data and uh, functionality validation was done by a selected uh, panel of users. After this test was passed, uh, the uh, the instance was will go in uh, in production, being available to uh, to all users of the, of a project, uh, or if it was a public server for any public user. And data will be loaded on demand by on demand by Kubernetes. If uh, now the uh, the jump to the red section is uh, uh, is dependent uh, if uh, we are talking about a big release like uh, from uh, 1.1 to 1.2, or if it's just uh, a patch release like uh, 1 to 4 to 1 to 5. In this case, if it's a uh, Big release, so the the second digit, uh, the old instance will be kept in post production as long as the uh, project requires it to transfer data or uh, finalize the analysis that were done on on set platform to to keep a, a continuity in the, in the analysis work. If it's just a, a patch release, the uh, the old patch release would be. Uh, Destroyed and uh, it will be kept uh, only the uh, the production analysis. Once the uh, the pre -product, the post production instance uh, is terminated, all resources uh, will go back in uh, in the cloud platform to be used uh, for for other projects uh, needs. So through the Transmart Etrix experience, uh, uh, we. Uh, we try to uh, have the best uh, validation protocol to, to follow all the, uh, the releases that were uh, given to the, uh, from the uh, Transmart Foundation. We are much dependent uh, on the uh, timing of these releases because after a, a release uh, is, uh, is out for, for the Transmart Foundation, the development team must uh, uh, modify <laughs> a little bit the var to uh, integrate the uh, Etrix platform requirements, such as the uh, an end up connection or a, um, a security requirements, uh, a requirement on the logs uh, that Florian said uh, it will be uh, ready for for 1.3, I think. Furthermore, we uh, at the beginning we had some issues uh, in the on the performance, so some benchmarking was made uh, and uh, some uh, improvement uh, in the in the infrastructure was was put in place to allow a better use of the uh, of the memory and uh, of the uh, of the process loads on uh, on the VMs. 
An example was the uh, decoupling of the transmart and our processes, giving two separate VMs, one for uh, transmart and another one for the for the R server. All this uh, uh, information being on uh, on the platform and being deployed for any projects, uh, any project uh, that will be hosted uh, on the platform, has also integrated a Docker file that is available for dissemination uh, on the services portal. Okay, now let's dig in uh, the public server. And again, we are going uh, through Transmart. The public server Transmart uh, is, uh, is thought as a showroom for the Etrix initiative. It runs uh, the latest uh, release that has been validated by the validation process I described uh, before. It is uh, uh, accessible through the portal. It's open access. You don't need uh, a login or password uh, to, to enter it. It hosts uh, 58 uh, created and uh, loaded studies. And uh, these studies, I think, will be shared with, uh, with the Transmart community, with the Transmart Foundation. They told me so. Of this, also, other data were shared uh, throughout the uh, Etrix community. Um, 23 studies uh, on uh, rheumatoid arthritis was shared with uh, Arena. Um, here is a distribution of the uh, disease areas that from the studies that are hosted in, uh, in the public server. You can see that mostly is rheumatoid arthritis, uh, Parkinson's disease, and cancer, but we have other representations not negligible. <coughs> Most of the source for, for this data comes from the GEO, but also the Cancer Genome Atlas and uh, other sources are involved in, uh, um, in, the, in, in the data population of the uh, Republic So now I'm, I'm getting into the perspective work. Uh, we already have a Galaxy server which is running in a, in a pre-production instance um, alongside with the Transmart application and uh, we are waiting for the 1.2.5 release to uh, put also Galaxy on the, on the public server available for, for public use and available for uh, the projects that are hosted on, on the platform. And uh, finally, I left a slide uh, on the uh, on the Etrix Labs just to remind you what uh, uh, Jay uh, just told you. Um, what I can tell you more than uh, Jay said is that uh, the tools that are developed in the Etrix ecosystem uh, are tools that, in a way or another, interact or can interact with uh, Transmart itself. There can be upstream application tools like EHS. There are downstreams, downstream application tools, analysis tool like, uh, um, I don't know, that's uh, uh, EAE, I think. And there are standalone analysis tools, which are tools that uh, uh, don't need uh, Transmart by itself, but may be helped by Transmart in the sense that you can uh, uh, select your cohorts of data through Transmart, export this data, and feed it to the application afterwards. So uh, in the end, uh, the, uh, the Etrix ecosystem will, uh, uh, will allow you to use all the, uh, the tools that have been developed. Furthermore, I, in, uh, in the screenshot I, uh, I showed you, I, um, I deselected uh, the Etrix Lab session section that is present in, uh, in, the, po in the public portal that, is, uh, um, that can be seen from, from any access. There is now a, um, a, sec a session for the Etrix Labs uh, with uh, uh, Little explanation and a link to the uh, to some demo pages of the of the application tools. 
So in, uh, in the next years of the project, uh, there are two uh, main branches of thought for, for the platform. There is uh, what we can do for the Etrix project, which is the uh, um, weight and uh, increase project hosting on the platform. There's a threat modeling uh, uh, that is going on to uh, um, convalidate the security uh, policies that are in place, or in case, modify them accordingly. And there's obviously the uh, development of the Etrix lab, Labs infrastructure uh, that uh, will, uh, will take us uh, some some time and uh, some resources uh, uh, to uh, integrate uh, the different tools developed uh, around Atrix uh, in uh, uh, in the platform and to be uh, to uh, to deploy them for any project instance. Along this uh, project tasks, uh, there's a continuous improvement uh, on, on the platform itself. There's uh, maintenance of the cloud and database uh, infrastructure. There are a lot of automation that is going on trying to uh, reduce the, uh, the, time, the deployment time and the deployment uh, resource cost for, for the different aspects, different modules uh, of an instance. And then there's the platform update and management uh, trying to, to get the, uh, to, to be update, to be up to date with, uh, with software. So we are waiting for the next uh, 1.3 of Transmart, provide new features inside the, the, the platform and handle the everyday security threats that may uh, happen, that may attack the platform itself. So thank you for your time. Thank you for bearing with my sore throat. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. So with the effect uh, uh, project of our infrastructure in, in all things you've done to uh, use the, the hosting or is that just like something that is so we, we already host three projects uh, and uh, um, if a project comes <laughs> to, to Etrix uh, asking for uh, for hosting because uh, he, uh, he doesn't have hosting capabilities so he thinks that he can't manage hosting capabilities, we are there to offer the hosting. Other projects would like to do their own hosting? This is uh, a part of the Etrix support plan. Um, we can support hosted projects, but we can support also projects that host their data themselves, and we are already doing that. And then you can also share the, the scripts and everything that is necessary. Yes, to, uh, yeah, obviously. Yeah, we can share the experience and uh, the know-how in, in the limit uh, of the similarity between uh, the platforms. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> How many doctors is like how many doctors why would we have this? Just so there's one. I think Bobby said we have one. So they're they're looking at different bits of you know, he's investigating the different options for building that instruments. Yeah, but I mean, we basically grant, and that, this is fine. Yeah, the grant is an out, and we still talk to it. What do we do on the PNC? Mm -hmm. We've been talking with IO, and we've been talking with the support for us on the PNC. Yeah, it's fine. 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 Yeah, it's fine.
we created uh, for, the, for the Matrix project I came out uh, uh, a week after the official Docker file of the Transmart Foundation. Okay. I think it could, if if we have a regular once we have a regular uh, timetable, I think any any time will be uh, will be good. So I think six months is a is a good way to uh, to allow the uh, virtual modifications and uh, the uh, the deployment on uh, on the project instances. As you may imagine, the projects tend to be conservative and tend to stick with the, with the older version because they are used to it. They they know all the all the nooks and crannies. Yes, yeah. That, that's that's why we push uh, projects to use the latest uh, patch release, uh, destroying the old patch release, which is a, a, in a sense we. We, it puts us you know, on the spot because we we must be sure that the new release doesn't have some new bugs. So the uh, the pre the pre-validation tests uh, are done thoroughly to to avoid this, and uh, this this normally takes some time. Rita? Okay. 